use a triple integral to determine the volume of the region below z is equal to 4 minus xy, and above the region in the xy plane, defined by x greater than or equal to 0, less than or equal to 2, and y greater than or equal to 0, less than or equal to 1. So, we know what we want here is the volume. So using a triple integral in Cartesian coordinates, we know the volume is defined by the triple integral over the solid region D of 1 dV. And this is such that D is the solid region in R3, and dV is the volume differential. So the first thing that we need to do is determine the bounds. So we'll start with the z bounds. And we can see, looking at what's given here, we have that we want to find the volume of the region below z is equal to 4 minus xy. And it's going to be above the region in the xy plane. And so we recall that the xy plane is defined by z is equal to 0. So this lets us know that z is going to be greater than or equal to the xy plane, 0, but less than or equal to 4 minus xy. And so we also need the region r in r2. and y bounds. And these are given to us. We have that x is greater than or equal to 0, less than or equal to 2, and that y is greater than or equal to 0, less than or equal to 1. So we have all of the bounds here and we're ready to get started. So we want to set up the triple integral for the volume So we have the volume is going to be equal to, and I'll keep y on my outside, I'll do 0 to 1. We then have the integral from 0 to 2 for x, and the inner bounds are 0 to 4 minus xy. And the integrand is 1, because we're using a triple integral to find volume. And the order of integration is dz, dx, dy. And while we're going to use this order of integration here, I want to give you a little love note that we can also use the alternative order. dz, dy, dx. And we'll attain the same answer because those bounds are constant. So using what is written here, we want to start by evaluating the inner integral. We want to evaluate the inner integral, which is with respect to z. So I have the integral from 0 to 4 minus xy dz, which integrates to z from 0 to 4 minus xy. And this leaves us with 4 minus xy minus 0. And we don't even really need that 0 here. We could just say that this is equal to 4 minus xy. And so plugging this back in, we're now ready to evaluate the middle integral, which here is with respect to x. So this will be the integral from 0 to 2 of 4 minus xy dx. And so integrating with respect to x, we have 4x minus x squared times y by 2 from 0 to 2. And so we're left with 4 times 2 gives us 8 minus 4 times y divided by 2. So we're left with minus 2y. 
this would be minus 0, and this leaves us with just 8 minus 2y. And plugging this back in, we're ready now to evaluate the outer integral with respect to y. So this is the integral from 0 to 1 of 8 minus 2y dy, which integrates to 8y minus y squared from 0 to 1. So this will be 8 minus 1 minus 0, which leaves us with a beautiful final answer of 7. So we can say, therefore, the volume of this solid region is 7 cubic units. And this is our beautiful final answer.